Selections and maskings are great for isolating parts of the model, but they are very temporary. However, you can assign parts of your model with a permanent designation called polygraph. This way, you can always come back to a particular selection or mask. There's also many other things you can do with the polygraph. So let's dive in and see. Now, we got our model here. If we turn on the polyframe here by pressing Shift and F, so here you can see that it's broken up into different areas of color and these are called the polygraphs. It's a way of organizing your model. Now you can create new polygraphs with masking or selection. So uh, that we can do in some other uh, like project files. So let's go in the light box. Okay. And let's go to the dog. Now here, as you know, my polyframe is on but you can see I don't have a polygraph here it's all one color that means there is no polygraph over here now how to create the polygraph let's see so let me go to the orthographic left view and all you remember how we can hide or select any object over here to hide it is control shift and alt and to select or anything is only control shift so I will just press my control shift here and here at this part, I will go to the brush and I can choose uh, select lasso tool. Okay. So I will choose this one and this will help me to create a lasso with the control shift and I will only keep its head, the dog's head over here. Now I have the dog head. If just notice if I will press Control W on my keyboard, see what happens. Control and W. So what this will do is that it will create a different color for this uh, dog head, and this will become a separate polygraph. Now, if I want to bring everything back, so Control and Shift, and if I will drag it here, okay. Oops, uh, I just have to click it here. So you will see that. I will have my whole object back and you will notice both of them are different colors. So what else I can do over here? How I can else uh, make my like a like a polygraph. So another way to do the polygraph is through the masking. So let me undo this whatever I have done so far. So I will go back to my orthographic mode control for the mask. And let's do one thing here. Let's go press control, go back here and choose a uh, make lasso here. And I will make a mask lasso here. Oops, not that correct. Okay, that's fine. So you can see that I have masked his head only. Now, if I will press control a W at this time. So you can see that whatever I mask is now have become a different polygraph. So the colors always will be different color. It will be not giving you the same color. Okay. But if you don't like this color, so maybe you can undo and then press control W again. So maybe it will this time give you this color. If you don't like this one, also again, you can control Z undo and control W. And maybe I like the purple color. So I can go with this one. Sometimes both of your colors are same. Okay, so it's a little hard to see. So for that purpose, you can undo and uh, press Control W again. So uh, those are the two basic ways of creating new polygraphs. There are also some automated ways as well. So let's scroll down over here. Let me undo this uh, at this stage over here. Okay, and I will go down and go to the polygraph option over here. And I'll click on this polygraph. Here it is. And the first option that we are going to, uh, to be looking at at this stage is the auto groups. So uh, let's click on the auto group here for now. Let me just put this and zoom it out a little bit so you can see the whole 
dog. So if I will press the auto group here and let's see what happens. So nothing actually happened here. So because the ZBrush couldn't find uh, the pieces of the geometry that had made this, uh, you know, uh, like ob object and uh, like from different pieces, it was all created from one piece. The reason over here is that this model is actually made out of all one piece of geometry. So there was no separate geometry creating this one object. It's all, it's just one piece of a geometry. So it's going to make one polygon. However, if you have some other uh, models that are created with different kind of polygraphs, so, so those polygraphs will uh, will usually like, like they will automatically become a different colored polygraph over here. Now, another way of uh, making an automated polygraph is by group uh, group by normals. Now, in on this model, it will not work because there are not uh, like there are not many uh, too many sharp enough angles change uh, over here or there are no many uh, normals basically normals are what something which is kind of a curving along okay so if I will try over here and click on group my normals okay it might not work but maybe if I will change uh, the maximum uh, like point of it and try okay and let's see no it's not working because this model is quite smooth if i will decrease this and try now you can see it's working but i have made it quite uh, lower so something around 10 and then press group by normal so wherever you have the sharp curve change there it is making a new curve like especially inside of these okay and wherever do you have a sharp uh, curves okay and maybe if I can make it uh, 50, so 50 won't, won't, might, might not give me results. 30 will also not give me, maybe 20 if I will try. Yes, 20 is giving me some result over here. Or I can do 15. So 15 also you can see, 15 is giving me quite a good result over here, but it's breaking into so many small you know like pieces so this is what the group normal do actually it uh, calculates your normal like your angles that are going uh, inwards or outwards and based on that it creates the polygraphs so now we are getting some interesting results and it's a little bit chaotic right now you can see as i told you before there are a lot of small uh, polygraphs as well over here so we can also avoid that, uh, avoid this. And if you will notice that we have the small circle over here. And if I will click on the small circle and click on the group by normals again, so you can see that it's giving me quite an interesting result over here. So uh, let's do one thing. Let's increase this and try. Now you can see that uh, it's it's much better than before. You can can see there are not a lot of small groups here even if uh, like uh, if I will uh, increase it so uh, even more better you can see it's like you know it's just going inside the ears and it's giving me okay where the normals are more twisted or bended or curved there it's selecting especially on the ears you can see or inside the mouth you can see that so this is a good way of uh, creating an automated uh, like polygraph if your model just like uh, this dog is not created uh, out of different uh, like uh, parts. Otherwise, you can just click on the autographs. Now, one other way that's interesting is to do it by group run. So let's click on that. Uh, but first, I have to bring this thing. Uh, on the orthographic front uh, part and then I will click on group front okay and if I will move around you can see that the one that was in the front part okay that was showing in the front angle is now with a different color and the one that was not showing is a different color also here I can change the uh, these uh, like settings suppose right now if I will do it 
you can see it's just like that but if i will change the settings maybe i don't want a 90 degrees maybe less than that maybe 60 and if i will click on the blueprint now so you can see that it's the you know the polygroups are sprawling more to this area and if i will go back here and increase it maybe to even more like 179 which is you know the maximum so it will cover the whole thing okay but a tiny bit will be left over there so as much you will increase it what it will do is that it will keep that front part more and this back part more okay and if i will keep it 90 and turn on the additive and then do the group front so you can see that you have a little bit better result than as you have it because what it does that it just uh, adds a little bit part of uh, you know uh, from the non-facing areas here but the method i actually like is basically uh, manually doing it either by doing uh with this effect okay and control w okay and then bringing back everything okay and then you know doing with the other parts like here control w and bringing back everything else okay and you know just like that okay so this is my uh, you know favorite method to create uh, polygraphs so now that we have created these polygraphs they can be used for a lot of different things so you can convert them back into selections or mask you can use them to drive uv layout uh, which we'll cover later in this course and uh, you can use the borders between polygraphs to create curves and sculpted details and we'll get into all of that later Feel free to explore the ways of combining these techniques to make various polygraphs. So I hope you have understood about the polygraphs right now. So uh, we will take care until we meet for the next class. Okay. And uh, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to it. And if you have not clicked on the bell icon, you can click on it because I will be uploading more other tutorials as well and live sessions. So you can get some uh, like notifications as well. So guys, uh, till the next class, take care of yourself and keep supporting me. I will be keep supporting you and I will be helping you out by creating these tutorials. So take care and we'll meet in the next class.